right? What a count. <clears throat> Well, if you watch Late Night with David Letterman, first the show, folks, now the book. Uh, yeah. He and uh, Meryl Markow have put out a very funny book based on the show, and he is also responsible for a special, and we're going to hold him responsible for it, too. <laughs> this is going to air tomorrow night at 1130 called David Letterman's Holiday Film Festival. Would you welcome David Letterman? Right. How about <laughs> It's a magic night for America. Isn't it, though? <laughs> Stick around, boys. We're not going to pay the band. Yeah. <laughs> My golly, what a, what a thrilling night for oh, all of us. Oh, yeah. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, how about you? I, I'm stuffed. You know, uh, it's tradition at our house. Every year we have the roast swan. It's great. <laughs> we, uh, the, uh, I love to see the kids fight over the neck. It's fun. <laughs> Now, uh, I thank you for coming out. Thank honestly. you very much for having me. Well, Thanks for making room for me. I'm sorry, I, uh, I appreciate it. Good yeah. to see you, Dave. Thanks. Nice to see Take you, care. Chevy. Thank you. You got a run? <laughs> <laughs> now, you mentioned the book. Yes, and, I uh, did. Let's, was... let's don't beat it to death. Let me see the book. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> I was uh, originally, this is going to turn out to be a really nice thing. Ooh, by the way, the can you see this? Take a look at all that color. Ooh. <laughs> This actually, Johnny, should be on your coffee table. I see. It's, uh, it's that quality. Uh, you know what they did? They, uh, they printed 40,000 copies of this thing, uh -huh. and there are three pages of pictures without captions. Stooge Press put uh -huh. this out. It's a, it's a division of goofball publishing. And, uh, but you know, even, even the lowest publication gets captions with the pictures. Hustler Magazine has captions, you know? <laughs> Here the twins show they make friends in prison. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, so we don't see that. No, I was. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I was. I was. Uh, I was looking at that book this afternoon, and it's very amusing. No, well, I see yeah, some funny stuff, but I just don't want to talk about it. Uh, anyway, they screwed up the first forty thousand, and they got a deal. If you go in, if, if you've already bought the book, mm -hmm. which seems unlikely, um, <laughs> they get some kind of a deal. You can uh, you get a rebate. I don't know, or somebody will come to your home and read it to you. I don't know. Is this an, <laughs> is this an expensive tome? If I wish to purchase this? Oh, it's uh, like eight bucks, nine bucks. I don't know. We like to think of it as another tale of two cities, John. Ah, good, good. But I don't want to talk about the book. I, <laughs> I've seen, I've seen into the future of transportation. I've peeked into the 21st century. Oh, huh? that's right. I came out here uh, uh, two nights ago, through the aviation miracle of the Airbus. That's right, the Airbus. Now this is a delightful airplane. It was designed and built uh, by the French and the Germans. Yes. And I think we all know what a loving, cooperative relationship those people have had. <laughs> um, it's. Uh, it's called the Airbus, one, because it, it, in fact, looks like a bus. Yes. Two, it for sure smells like a bus. <laughs> now, here, here's the difference. The, the Airbus is not quite as fast as a real bus. Uh, now, what... Does it have the strap handles, too? That uh, kind of stuff, yeah. absolutely. It, like yeah. Ralph Cramden is flying yeah. this thing, you know. Um, is this a cheapy... Uh, oh, geez, it's unbelievable. Flight? But it's, it's so slow. Like, if you fly out on a regular plane, 747, New York to L.A., what, are we talking about five and a half? If you're late, maybe five, 5.45, even yeah. six hours. The <laughs> Airbus from, from, uh, from New York to L.A., six hours and 45 minutes. Gee, unbelievable. I mean, Johnny, the whole trip, we were like this. Woo! <laughs> Um, fuel, just air? I don't know. I don't know what it gets. But uh, the motto, of course, of the Airbus is uh, uh, jet lag's not a problem if you don't get there. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the wings. You gotta look out, and the, the wings are flapping. Yeah, that kind of deal. Yeah. Now uh, you're saying to yourselves, "Geez, Dave, this is fascinating." But who would fly the Airbus? Yeah. <laughs> and, is, uh, I looked around, and my observation was they got a contract with the government for transfer of prisoners. One, that would do it. <laughs> Uh, two, the other group flying at people who can't afford trailways. Right. And, and three would be serial killers. Wow. Yeah. Now, so I'm sitting Not next to this... Not a pleasant trip. No, no. I'm sitting next to this yammering psychopath, and the guy keeps dozing off on my shoulder. And uh, he wakes up long enough to tell me that that very morning he had been released or paroled from prison. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, oh boy, I can hardly wait seven hours on a plane with a guy who has a grudge against society. You know? <laughs> So now it's dinner time, uh, and they bring around the, the Airbus snack, and it's, it's sealed in a container like this. It's absolutely sealed. And you think, well, this would be nice, like a, I don't know, a day in the country, a little picnic. You, you pry it open with, a, like, a, a fire axe, and inside, inside, honest to God, they got, like, vanilla wafers, 
and a container of hot mustard. <laughs> I said, because after all, it is the holidays. That's right. Yeah. So, now, so in the middle of this is some sort of unidentifiable protein mass. Mm -hmm. Now, if this had been a fishing trip, you'd call the captain and say, oh, uh, I'm sorry, somebody put the chum in here with my lunch, but... <laughs> Not so, a pleasant trip. No, I'm not done yet. Don't go, guys. Want to give me a nod yeah. when you are? So oh, I, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I so, feel like George Burns here. <laughs> so you, uh, uh, the plane was designed for people who, who don't fly much. Right. And in fact, for people who don't even know where the airport is. But anyway, <laughs> so they keep flashing this sign, lavatories occupied. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that's their way of saying, all right, we know the food is darn near inedible. But see, apparently it can be digested. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm getting close to booed. There. That's right. Uh, so you go into you go into the lavatory, which, by the way, is sloped. The interior wall is sloped like the outside of the plane. So whatever you have to do in there is a hook shot. So you bring back the uh, you bring back the, the lid on the on the toilet there, and there's a sign that says, "Do not place metal or glass objects in the toilet." Yeah. yeah. Uh, which always ruins a trip for me. I like to go up there and, uh, it'll wash a load of dishes if I can. So. Uh, the Airbus. That, thank you. Is that, absolutely that about, a true that about wrap up the airline? We're done with the Airbus. We're done with, we're done with the Airbus. Now look, let's do all that. Now, we have we haven't talked about this highly advertised special of yours tomorrow night. You know, <clears throat> I just I, wanted to take a few minutes here, John, to talk about NBC. <laughs> uh, first of all, this slogan. <clears throat> Originally, it was, be there. Go NBC, on. be there. Okay, they bring in a guy, head of promotion here at NBC, paid him at least a half a million dollars. That's the truth. Well, he knew the guy. He was making about a half a mm -hmm. million. He decides to change the slogan from, be there, to, let's all be there. <laughs> Because, you know, he's thinking maybe there's some people in Montana who are saying to themselves when they see this promotion come on NBC, they're saying, hmm, geez, I'd like to watch, but are we included? <laughs> so, so let's no, all no, be NBC there. is looking for a very exclusive group of viewers. Not everyone is eligible. <laughs> so, so this guy changes it to let's all be there. Now, the slogan really ought to be, you know, when in the old days when NBC wasn't doing that great, it was NBC were easy to spell. And I thought that was good. <laughs> okay, so that now, uh, uh, Without last... Without PBS, we're coming after you. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> so, uh, what are we doing here? You better plug this. Oh, I gotta get the special. Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. So, six weeks ago, NBC comes to me and they say, Don, are you still with the network? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> 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 they said, we, we, have, we have an opening for a show November 30th, uh, 1130. <coughs> right. Would you like to do it? And we said, sure, we'd love to do it. We did a show. We got a lot of people to make movies, and they're going to come on and show their movies. It turned out pretty nicely. Uh, uh, but the thing of it is, our lead-in, mm -hmm. the last thing you'll see on NBC is Roger Mudd's <laughs> American Almanac. Right. Now, you know, it's a great show, but the guy's not exactly Peter Allen. No. So, um... <laughs> Uh, now here are the two segments you'll see. We gotta go? We're gonna be right back. Right, Maybe we're rolling with the Airbus. <laughs> you got hot with the Airbus. All right, before we say goodnight, all you people in Montana also are invited. Yeah, everybody's included. That sure. is tomorrow night. 11.30. 11.30. Uh, Bette Midler, uh, Harry Shear, uh, Michael Keaton, uh, Andrea Martin, Let's uh, all Catherine O'Hara. Oh, they, they all made films and they'll be on the show. Oh, here's great stuff. Yeah, it turned Look out pretty nicely. Tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Chevy. Thank, thank you, Dan. Spies Like Us opens a uh, week from today. December 6th. Yes, December sir. December the 6th. And Barry, thank you for being with us. Have a great trip. Come back soon. We'll see you next week. Night-night.